Welcome to Wilson's Garage. Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, we are on part two of the Ford 8N maintenance rebuild. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start throwing all this stuff back together. And let's get to work. One, they don't have threads all the way back. Two, a lot of the threads are actually kind of messed up from being a 1952 tractor. So, uh, I usually keep a lot of, a lot, a lot of weird, you know, bolts and nuts and spacers and stuff. So I think this is out of some persistent suspension of mine that I'm going to end up cutting and making it a spacer for those. I think that will work really good. Alright, so these are actually all uh, brass, made of brass. Uh, I'm assuming so they don't sh strip out the stud if you over tighten them or they don't rust.
day three on the four and eight in. We uh, are going to finish up a few things. We're going to do the points on here. We're going to make our spark plug wires and we're going to put our new uh, temperature gauge system in. Um, so, without further ado, let's get working. Okay, so this is our temperature gauge setup. This goes in between uh, the top radiator hose. We need to put this guy on, and then put this. Huh. Imagine that. Oh, hold on. Okay, so that's how we're going to run it. As you can see, it doesn't hit the bottom. We're going to go ahead and thread tape here. Uh, well, it's actually a AN style, so it should seal up. Just hate to do this twice. Risk it, get the biscuit. Okay, that's tight. And as you can see, gauge goes to 280. So you don't need all this. So we don't want to take the entire length out.
the finished product, wire runs, we're going to zip tie that up, that's extra, runs with the rest of the loom, and back up to the back of the gauge, and that's what the gauge looks like. Alright, now we're going to try and tackle this sediment bowl. All right, so we're a few minutes from uh, starting up the eight in. The we just have to put fuel in the uh, sediment bowl and make sure it's not aerated. And yeah, let's do it. Okay. I don't see any leaks. So that's good. Attempt number two, I think I had the points set too far out, so here's, here goes nothing. Really bad exhaust leak from this clamp. 